<laughs> hey, it's Candy and Cody. Hello. Uh, we literally like just woke up. I've had ago. like two sips of coffee. I'm on my second cup because I wake up before you. Wow. Perfect timing on that. She's so mad. She hears us. I know you're in there. The best coffee. I usually don't drink hot coffee. But I didn't have any cold brew time, so <laughs> here we are. Okay, so this is another uh, Try Treats box. I actually got this before we went to Vegas, mm -hmm. and we just ran out of time before we went. Now it's been three weeks since we were in Vegas. <laughs> so funny story, if you're on my Instagram, you already saw this, literally in my pajamas. So, Mom, sorry I'm not wearing a bra. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> One time I made a cooking video and I wasn't wearing a bra I and I like had brushed my hair and my mom was like, oh my god. Yeah, that was our first one. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many, I don't remember. <laughs> so anyway, we came home from Vegas. It had been three weeks since we'd seen each other and I missed him so much. I, I think my threshold is about three weeks. Mm. Yours is about three hours. <coughs> three days at most. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that I don't miss him. We decided last night I'm just better at uh, distracting. distracting myself from missing you. <laughs> yeah, but it is one of those feelings where I'm just kind of sitting there once the job is done and I'm settling and it's kind of like, I wonder what she's doing. <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yesterday I had to work by myself with just one manager. Um, so it was a very busy day and I worked from 7 to 5. So I, I worked a 10 hour shift and I knew he was at home. So I was like, you gonna open that? No, I finished this story. <laughs> so I knew he was at home. So I stopped and I got gas because I knew I was going to my mom's tomorrow. So I needed gas, or today actually. <laughs> and uh, I needed to pick up some groceries. So I did that and I was talking to him. He's like, oh yeah, I'm heading to the grocery store too. So I get home and I've got my arms full of groceries. I'm coming in the house and my roommate meets me outside. He's like, I just need, wanna know if you needed help because he does that sometimes, which is super sweet. I was like, no, I got it. So I come inside and I'm putting stuff away in the fridge and I'm bent over in the fridge and all of a sudden I hear a voice and I put my head up real quick and I hit my head on the freezer and it was him. <laughs> and he had surprised me and scared the crap out of me. I probably would have startled too. And it's just like bonk. I'm like, oh no, are you kidding? <laughs> all of a sudden you were like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> And then I hugged him and cried just a little bit, but I didn't want him to see that. But He wasn't planning on seeing me yet. I wasn't. I wasn't seeing him until next weekend, so it was so nice. Thanks yeah. for surprising me. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, enough gushy shit. Uh, Trytreats.com. Uh, we're going to try out this snack box, and if you want your own snack box, Candy Fox is the code for 15% off. Let's see if I've got anything over here that will cut that. See, this is why they weren't allowed on planes. You could open boxes with them. Is this that what it is? Yeah, they didn't let box cutters on there either for the same reason. Maybe. <laughs> the All snacks right. are locked away. Go ahead and open that up. <laughs> Alright, we're ready? What yeah! Is it? What is that? It's red and white. Is that Belgian? I thought for a second it was Thailand, but I'm pretty sure that's not right. Poland! Why are we so bad at flags? I was really close, actually. Yeah. Poland has a population of 38 million people. That's hmm. it? That doesn't seem like that much. It's really not, compared to the 300 million. Oh, their Constitution Day is May 3rd, two days before my birthday. That explains a lot. So, okay, let's do Poland. <gasps> Ooh, there's a recipe for a Polish poxy poxy. I'm not sure. P a c z k i. Not Poxy? Polish. I don't know how to say it. Yeah, They're a deep fried piece of dough shaped into flattened spheres, filled with confiture or other sweet filling. They're <laughs> eaten on Fat Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, confiture, yeah. So it's like a confit of some sort, yeah? I guess. Hmm. I don't know. 
jam or custard for filling is all, all that says. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into it. All right. I'm gonna let Cody be in charge of the box. Because y'all say I'm so bossy, which I am. <laughs> Dear customer, we're sorry to inform you that the AHA by E. Weedle treats in your postcard for a printer error. The correct item is sesame snack. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Take a look at the box. Oop. A <laughs> take, a look, take a look at the box. <laughs> Okay, I'll let you pull them out and dish them out. And yeah. Do you want me to read the postcard no, or you want to read the postcard? Let's see here. What do you want to do? I'm going to do this part. You're going to do the postcard. Okay. Uh, the Tarunski, which is the heart shaped one. Maybe. <laughs> you got to find it, I think. Oh, oh, it's this one, it's this one. Oh, that's interesting. Legendary Smack, it says. S-M-A-K. Tarun gingerbread in Polish. Our gingerbread cookies made from a traditional and secret recipe by Kopernik Circa, a company that has been one of the leading Polish gingerbread producers since 1760. This is legit, then. Like real ginger. Oh. oh They're a nice, like... Cakey texture. Fluffy cookie with a glaze. They are soft. I thought they would be super hard. We do ginger snaps around here, but gingerbread. Oh, they smell so good. That is it. I smell orange in there. Oh. Mmm. 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 That's a light texture I wasn't expecting. It's so, like... Soft and chewy. If you like gingerbread, uh, this might be one of the better ones I've had because it's got that cakey light texture. Yeah, I'm not usually a gingerbread fan, mm -hmm. but this is really, really good. One of these with your coffee in the morning? It's warm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have coffee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You want to dunk? <laughs> no. All aboard the hot mess, it's bread. Almond milk, caramel, caramel macchiata. <laughs> on your gingerbread. Mmm. That actually works. That's delicious. Yep. That's five right. out of five. Definitely a winner. Yeah. Even if you don't like sweet stuff, that's good. Yeah. Super good. Okay, and then we have the aha, which is the little one. <laughs> Yeah. It's I supposed to be so. the sesame snack this time now. Mm hmm. So you gotta read it off there, I think. Uh. So yeah, this one is the Aha by E. Weedle. It is. No, it's the Om Key. No. Remember, they changed it from that to this. Sorry. I'm being bossy. I was just. <laughs> Is a healthy alternative loaded with extra thin, super crunchy, and carefully selected honey roasted sesame seeds. Ooh, yum. Mm -hmm. Honey and sesame? Mm hmm. Oh, they're like a little sesame cracker. It's like a sesame. Is it the whole thing? <laughs> Ooh, very hard. A little melty. Maybe. It looks like. They're supposed to be They might in. be able to be They're semi broken apart, but I think probably because they sat for quite a bit, they're stuck together. Okay. Oh, it smells so nice. Mm -hmm. It's a nice nutty flavor, like smell. Oh, yeah, very, very potent. Or oh, hard. Well, I can like see that. why they're wafer thin. Mm-hmm. It's pretty dense. Biting through a lot of that, yeah. But these weren't stuck together. Mm -hmm. It's still really good. It's just super stick in my teeth. Yeah. I mean, they're great. If you like the taste of sesame seeds. I do, yeah. That's good. So it's like a candied sesame seed. Super thin wafer. We're eating it like fatty three layers thick. This is the equivalent of like opening a Kit Kat and just taking a bite. 
right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd give that like a four. Yeah? Yeah. Four mm -hmm. out of five? Not three for You me. don't even want to finish yours. Not three for me. Yeah. What's next? All right. Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> the Femagine Cream Whoppers. Oh, yeah. Those are them. Yeah. The actual name is the, the Filmogene, which is, I suppose, the word for family. Yeah, I think this must be, like, english Yeah, but this is the English Translated version. is what I meant to say. Cream wafers are crispy and thin uh, wafers. Wafers, whichever. I love that he says wafers. <laughs> delicious vanilla flavored cream. They are produced by Filmogene, one of the most leading Polish brands for wafers. Well, Wafer biscuits. I mean, these, these are just sugar seen. wafers. I love a sugar wafer. It seems like, so we've been doing these for quite a while. Mm -hmm. We've done four or five boxes now, I think. Other countries know how to, see, know how to make their wafers. Well, yeah, but like everybody seems to have some sort of wafer cookie like this. I think. I mean, crispy is just better, I guess. Mm. The American version of these cookies are so sweet. No matter what flavor you and get. And very dry. Yeah. These are really nice. Like, um, yeah. There, there's just enough cream that it, like, counteracts the cookie. Mm hmm That it doesn't feel like you need anything but it's like not it. sickeningly sweet, so you're not, like, Mm-hmm. Mm. I like mm. that. I would give that a four as well. Hmm. I like it. Here, you do the next one. Oh, okay. I'm finishing my... <laughs> oh. <laughs> so the next thing is the hazelnut milk chocolate wafer by Pr Prince Polo. They're chocolate wafers, four layers, enrobed in a coat of hazelnut milk chocolate. Since the introduction of Prince Polo wafers in 1955, they have been Poland's best-selling candy. So they like their wafers. So it's just a wafer bar. Interesting. Hmm. And yeah, it's just called a chocolate wafer. Yeah. It's like the whole thing is a wafer. It's multiple layers of wafer with a very subtle hazelnut flavor. See, this is good chocolate. Mm -hmm. they, they, they know how to do it right. They know how to do it. They know how to do it. Okay, next. <laughs> oh, what would you give that one? <laughs> Again, that's a four for me. Yeah. A four is like a snack I like, but maybe not something I would like grab off the shelf. For me, I guess a four would be that I could I could see how it would make good, even if I'm not a fan. Yeah. If I, so, I guess I'm a little biased that way. So three would be like neutral. You're like, eh, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, Paluski, my Lejonic. Uh, our crispy salt sticks. Uh, Pazalewski are known to be made from a traditional recipe, and the traditional baking process is producing uh, Pazalewski. <laughs> also results in these snacks containing a relatively low calorie content. This looks like a giant Cheeto. Yeah, I'm sure it's an air wafer, yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Or styrofoam. There's no smell. It's a salt stick. So it's so. just like salt? Yeah. That's an unflavored Cheeto. That's literally like eating styrofoam. Yeah. <laughs> there's no there's no flavor to it at all. Oh, on the back you, end there's something. I wonder what you could do with this. If anything. 
<laughs> could, like have it with a dip <laughs> or just I, well something. once you put it in your mouth and some saliva it just dissolves yeah it, it is essentially like so any kind of dip would just like kill yeah. it hmm not a fan they're they're a tad bit boring very yeah doesn't work for me maybe you maybe you enjoy it with a nice salted fish of a sort maybe <laughs> huh weird all right. something for texture <coughs> i mean one of my favorite snacks right now is like uh popcorn cheesy popcorn and then i'll eat it with the tuna fish not at the same time but it makes it a little bit more pleasant okay i when i pack for lunch i usually like things that are shelf stable so. yeah because you're in our truck all day exactly okay uh delfina i have no idea how to pronounce that Solidarnorsky. 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 Solid no clue. <laughs> All right. Elegant and individually oh, wrapped no. chocolates decorated with white chocolate. This one definitely got melted. Oh. I didn't have it in my car. Must have got melted in the. But it's got. Mm -hmm spots on it because it's been melted and the solids have separated oh. read what it is because i just busted it open <laughs> <laughs> creamy and silky with a rich chocolate taste delfina is delicious and will melt in your mouth we'll see how that goes yeah so there is some kind of filling in the middle i think i've had these before for some reason oh mm. that's an interesting smell yeah there's a And that gum. What is that? Is that rum? Yeah. Hmm. It does have a very strong, like, alcohol alcoholic flavor. Yeah. It's really good, though. Hmm. They might have it for flavoring. You can add that for flavoring. That's really good. And it's still really silky. Yeah, even with it being melted and, like, mm -hmm. re solid. The flavor is amazing. If the texture raw on point, I, mm. <clears throat> if this is still delicious even after it's got a <coughs> change, yeah, I would definitely recommend. This is dainty. I want a Delfina by It's all in Polish. <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> oh, all five stars. But how many reviews? Okay. This is just a review. The company doesn't like really disclose. It just says a silky vanilla cream that is very slightly alcoholic. Mm -hmm. You can taste it. It's very good. It definitely is like a rummy flavor for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. It's uh, reminiscent of the cherry cordials. Yes! That's what it is. It's like a clotted cordial cream. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. It's a cordial. It's a that cordial. All right, <laughs> let's move brandy. on. <laughs> a rum or a brandy, I think. So good. Mm -hmm. I I give that a five. Oh, it's very delicious. Yeah. I'm still enjoying it. I know it's still in your mouth. It's nice. <laughs> it's delicious on the palate. All right, break by uh, Goblana is a smooth, rich milk chocolate with creamy flavor. For a burst of flavor, you can chew on it, or have the chocolate and cream melt in your mouth. These must have been in my car for longer than mm. I thought. We're not doing it as justice, and I'm sorry. Oh, no, I feel terrible. Oh. So it's a wafer chamber covered in chocolate. A wafer chamber. Piece. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure there's some kind of filling in the middle there. Mm-hmm. Some kind of hazelnut. Oh, yeah, it's very Nutella. Mm -hmm. 
This, very, might, this might be the winner on the chocolate. Wafer. This is a Ferrero Rocher without like the chunky nuts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because mm -hmm. it's got that little wafer on the outside like the ball has. Mm -hmm. You've had a Ferrero Rocher, right? Mm-hmm. So the way I eat them is, <laughs> I chip off the chocolate on the outside, then I have the ball, then I open up the ball, eat the side that has the least amount of filling in it, and then eat the other side. Delicious. And I think that's how I am with like Nutty Buddies. Yeah. I'm one of those people that will take a, a Nutty Buddy and pull off each wafer. You ever done that with a Kit Kat too? <laughs> you like eat the chocolate off the outside and then you take it See, that's enjoying your food. Yeah. That, that is really pleasant. If I, if I had to say that was something, it's kind of like a Kinder Bar. Ooh, yeah. And that's what that's what I, that reminded me of, that smooth chocolate and the crispy wafer. Mm. Kinder. You're going home with a whole box of stuff, babe. Oh, boy. <laughs> It'll be gone, I don't know, tonight. <laughs> um, <clears throat> all right. Uh, so, I have no idea. Kukri Satruski by Asta. Citruski, uh, I bet means citrus. There you go. <laughs> My asked for a uniquely colored and intricately designed citrus caramel candies. So they're citrus caramels? I think it's going to be like granny candy. Yeah, it's got... Uh, you want to pick one? Mm. Oh, I like that. It's got the little cherry. It's got a little cherry. Mine has some kind of other fruit. <laughs> like a peach, maybe? Oh, yeah. These actually look really delicious. Anything with citrus. Ow! Yeah. There's a hard candy. I thought it would be caramely. Ow. Hmm. Does it taste I'm like peach? peach, yeah. I guess mine tastes like cherry, but it's like a off cherry. I like it though. I saw that and I said I have like grapefruit and stuff like that too. I'm gonna have to check that out. I'm not a fan. Mm. I'm not really a uh, fruity person. Here, hold up. <laughs> Just so we don't get it mixed up with everything else. Yep, let it get a m magical later candy. So, without your bias, what do you think? The flavor was nice. Kind of like a, a Jolly <laughs> Rancher-esque. Yeah, just not, again, not as sweet, because mm -hmm. Americans want sugar. It's got a, a creaminess in there, yeah. All right. Uh, Krauka Milk Cream Fudge. Oh! By uh, Selder Knox again. Ta-da! <laughs> Camera magic. The camera cut. <laughs> the camera cut. Sorry. Okay. Cow fudge. <laughs> uh, Kraka cow candy is a milky, creamy fudge candy. You notice these Polish fudge candies are different from American fudge. They are soft and crumbly in texture and they will melt in your mouth. I, did they make it? <laughs> yeah. They look like caramels. Right. I well, we could probably share one if you'd like. Okay. Yeah. yeah, they Careful look like though. American caramels. Yeah. See how? Check the texture. Mm. I think it went through a strip of cheese. Yeah. I think I messed this box up, unfortunately. I feel like if these hadn't been melted and redone, mm -hmm. the texture would be a lot better. It's not terrible. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a little chalky. Mm-hmm. It's well, not terrible. Bad. Flavor's amazing, though. Flavor's really good. I like four. Did we end up missing one? Because I noticed you have that. Is mm -hmm. that right here? Yeah. It's the last one? Oh. We did the wrong thing. <laughs> Okay, so these are Polexki by Tigriski. 
strawberry flavored corn puffs that do not have gluten or any added sugar lightly sweet in flavor and soft in texture these corn pops corn puffs are a healthy delight there was no strawberry flavor to that there was no flavor at all they, they tasted like these are salt sticks styrofoam. okay that makes more sense that makes way more sense <laughs> These are just pretzel sticks. We did not work well together on that one. Hmm. All right, so this is our last salt sticks. Pew pew. Salt stick. Kink. Perfectly good pretzel stick. This is a good texture. Yeah. I've been looking at doing um some Halloween like foodie things. Mm -hmm. These would be perfect for the stem of a pumpkin. Mm. On the top of like a cheese ball or something like that. Those are delightful. They're very light. Yeah. I I gotta be honest, I'm not a big fan of pretzels normally. You get the roll of gold or anything like that. But American pretzels are so dry. These are like buttery and like not soft but like edible without breaking your teeth exactly yeah the other ones yeah they can stand it for dipping and all that other stuff but these ones are just pleasant by themselves yeah it, it's a good mixture between a hard pretzel and a soft pretzel yeah so all in all what do you think of the polish box <clears throat> um with the exception of a few that didn't really pop out to me zach i can see how a lot of these are popular and yeah that gingerbread was top notch. Top notch gingerbread. Mm -hmm. I haven't had good gingerbread like that. Um, what was your favorite? My favorite favorite? Probably that little cameo one that got melted. The Delfina. The Delfina. That was really, really good. Yeah. I uh, sold the Norski. Yeah. Amazing. What about yours? Um, I like the citrus ones, but that's I only got to try one. Try He's a to... very citrus. Centric guy. I am. But I, you could well, have those in your truck for work. There you go. Yeah. Mm hmm That makes the time go by fast. Yeah. A nice treat. Yeah. I I would definitely recommend. Yeah. You know, so if you're in Poland, get the snacks. <laughs> um, or if you're on the internet, go to trytreats.com. <laughs> use code CANDYBOX for 15% off yeah, and that's get fine. your own I will, box. <laughs> I will bring it to you. That's better. <laughs> Good segue. <laughs> All right, we're going to actually eat breakfast now because this was our pre-breakfast. Got to get the engine going. Yeah. Deliciousness ahead. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Can we do it? Can we do it? Yeah. We love you guys. <laughs> we'll Bye. see you in the next one.